A while ago, I did a $3 function generator. Today, I've got a $2 function generator. And if you're thinking, yeah, what's next? What's he going to do? Get a $1 function generator? Then you know me too well, but that's not for today. Okay, let's pull this thing out of the package. Take a look at it. This is not a kit, obviously. Uh, PWM ground, so that's obviously the out. Here's the voltage in. I need to look up and see what that voltage is. Otherwise, it's just got uh, frequency and duty cycle. And not a lot on the other side. Okay, so I need to solder some pins in here so wires don't come popping off there and short stuff out. So let me go do that and I will be back shortly and we will see what this $2 uh, function generator does for us. I've got the uh, pin soldered in here on both ends and because I have two places to solder to, I put one pin sticking out the front and one pin sticking out the back so I can clip either way, uh, put on the oscilloscope or whatever project I'm gonna put this on and yeah that way i can connect up either from the front or the back so uh, if you've only got one hole what i'll usually do is put the pin halfway through so again i can clip on either front or back uh, okay so let's uh, get out that little oscilloscope and clip it on here and we'll see what this thing's going to do for us well as you can see we've got this wired up uh, i'm running it on nine volts right now it's coming in on this side and this is going out to my little inexpensive uh, oscilloscope. Yeah, um, it always shows up in kilohertz. So that's, I don't know, plus or minus. Um, and it's fairly easy to use. Um, it doesn't have any jump feature that I can find where you can, you know, jump from whatever. You just kind of hold and push and hold. Um, but uh, yeah, so that's the obviously the frequency. It produces only a square wave as far as I can tell. Um, and of course the duty cycle from zero to 100%. Okay, now let's zoom out and take a look at the uh, oscilloscope and see what kind of a wave it's producing and what kind of frequency range it'll do for us. Well, here is our inexpensive oscilloscope and here is our $2 uh, function generator. Um, yeah, as you can see, it's producing a very nice square wave at about 0.93 kilohertz, which fairly closely agrees with what's coming out over here, 50% duty cycle. This says 50% duty cycle. The wave looks like a 50% duty cycle. Uh, what else should we look at? I guess we should try some different things. It's all precariously balanced here, so hopefully I won't knock anything off and fry something. Um, let's go down to 40%. And we're showing 40%-ish. You know, now keep in mind that none of this stuff is shielded. These, uh, the, these probes are not uh, shielded. They're not pl uh, probes. They're alligator clips. Uh, the oscilloscope isn't shielded, the, the uh, function generator isn't shielded. So, yeah, our readings are going to pick up, uh, you know, our, our things are going to pick up uh, spurious outputs and they're going to give us some spurious readings. So, um, yeah, okay, so it's, uh, the duty cycle is working as advertised. Let's put it back to 50% so we get a nice clean output. Now, let's try messing with the frequency and see what happens. Get my hands out of the way of everything. Nope, that didn't work. Let's see. Frequency. We'll go down in frequency. And okay, there we see it. So push and hold to make it go fast. Uh, So yeah, so we're getting down to uh, 156, 0.156 kilohertz. Uh, okay, and our wave, you know, that pretty much pans out. Um, our Vmax is 9.8, our Vmin is about 0.8. Uh, 
and uh, yeah, RMS is 6.8. So let's run this thing up because a lot of times the test is um, how much frequency, how high a frequency they can produce before they start freaking out. Okay, so we're gonna have to change the settings on our on our oscilloscope. So we're at 5.7 kilohertz. Um, going the wrong way. There we go. Good wave again. Now we're getting a little bit rounded on the corners. Get my hands out of the way. So this theoretical theoretically will go up to 150 kilohertz. And yeah, okay, so we're kind of getting a rounded, uh, a rounded wave now. Um, theoretically, the scope will go up to 500 kilohertz, but it, uh, yeah, it didn't do all that well. Okay, so we're, well, it jumped above 100. Okay, so there's 100 kilohertz, and the scope is pretty much at its limits. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Um, so, yeah, what I'm going to have to do is get out my good scope, and when I finish all three of these, uh, compare them, because I've got a... Uh, quad trace scope so I can put all three of them on here and kind of compare their outputs but yeah I mean uh, we can keep going up the scope's not going to help us though there's 150 and yeah at 150 kilohertz um, the uh, they pretty much agree over here um, and again that lack of shielding is going to uh, kind of bite us but yeah, pretty good overall. I mean, I would say, uh, you know, for a couple bucks, I would uh, keep this in my, uh, in my parts box. Okay, well, that was it for this $2 frequency uh, generator and PWM uh, square wave generator. Hope you found that useful and interesting in your home electronics projects.